All right, hello. Um, I'm going to help in uh, to make a simple script to back up a folder and uh, the folder called example assignment number two. Um, assignment two and save that in, uh, in the output as a uh, the SQL, the current date, the current date and then um, dot SQL and dot whatever that you want. So I'm making here a GZ, right? Okay, to involve this task, that, that what I want, a month, month, day, day, hour, minutes, minutes, hour, hour, month of the day, so I do month, month as well, and then uh, month, month, day, 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 day as well. So that what I'm testing out, so you can run this, this script here, and uh, in in um, in Linux before you can try out any script, so that how it look like. So if more information about this option, you can go into main page and date, and you can look for example option M, option M for minutes, so two minutes, and then I'm go for two hour. Uh, that what hour I'm going for, and month. Uh, day of the month and the month and whatever option that you can go. Okay, example, I'm going for option B. There we go, that's option B. So three letter option B. So before you run this script put in here, I make I, I, I make them into a variable called EX or you can make any variable here if you want to or you can put a var there if you want to and you put in var here and then you have to come down here fix them become a var if you wish to Okay, um, so that's my script there, and then uh, I have I have this option here already. So day I done right, day I'm done. So the tar option, the tar, you can run this outside in different way. That I have, uh, if you want to run that in shell command, you may need to put this in different way. See how it go, but that's how you put it in per. Uh, you put it in as example. Now you want to run a a um, a folk, uh, unzip folder, right? So I'm going to do tar uh, z for zip uh, c to create a new file z and force them. And if you don't know what is c z uh, c and z and f, you go into tar main page and tar. And there we go. Option operator c to create it zip for standard a zip file. And where the option F somewhere here? Where was that? F for file, output at the file. Okay, so that's the option. Okay, for tar you have to do um, you have to go tar and then the operation create it and then the destination destination file here and then the source. Okay, that's how it works in 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 tar. So now I have a destination called, um, the destination I have is uh, date, uh, that's my op destination, dot uh, SQL, example, dot TZ, that's my destination. And I'm saving into the current folder, okay, or you can put the full, the, the um, absolute path, which is whatever you want to be, but I want to put output at the current folder. And I'm going to zip a folder called assignment two. Assignment two. That's it. Done. So I hit enter. Should be all right here. And then I. That's the new folder. Uh, the new output. And date. The time at the moment is the 19. The 19. Uh, what is that? 30. 45. Right there. 45. Uh, 10 o'clock and 19 August 2014 and .spl, there we go. So that whole file there is become one little variable down here and that my expansion here. Okay, that's the new zip file. The size of the zip file will be 500 megabyte, around 500. All right, so now I'm gonna put that in the action, right, the script. Uh, before I do, I re remove all the files I have here. Uh, remove that, remove that, remove that. Okay, so now I make a script. My script here, I have down here there already for you. 
so as as and I said there we put here a var uh, variable one or variable two up to you and make as in variable variable one so save them and then run them okay the reason is if I don't put if I don't put chom uh, there is a chom option there that you may look at here chom is remove the last character okay remove the last uh, the last trailing string if I don't put chomp, okay, now I don't, I'm not going to put chomp, right? And don't use this option chomp here, see what happens. I comma now, okay? Then I run the script. I run that script. Uh, date. That, well, there we go. That little character, it came out at the end. So if you want to say remove, and you see what a character, if you just uh, a little bit fusion about that. There we go. There is a trailer character at the end. Instead of instead of uh, option N, there's a last character there. So you have to remove it out. So because the variable passed, so there is some let some one letter at the end. So you have to remove that letter out as well. So we you chomp to remove the last trailing character. Okay? Otherwise it's just stuck in there. So that how we remove them. So now I'm going to put them uh, put back to the script and then uh, remove the character, right? That's removed. So make them uh, just a raw data, just a data without any ending space or, or enter at the end, yeah? So that's how we run. We save them, and then uh, and then uh, I remove them. Now do it, run the script again. Hopefully there is no more trailing. There we go, the second one, no trailing. Okay, and you can check the data. There we go. 1448 10 I, I am. All right, now I'm going to make in two minutes as as my initially. So I put this one into Chrome tab, yeah? I put in two minutes. So where do I go? From here, I'm logging as root at the moment. Chrome tab dash E. Chrome tab dash E. I edit them as VI. I for in search. Enter going down. So, so what I do? Two minutes. So two. Um, Percentage, uh, sorry, ship number A dash two, and then field number two, three, four, five. And where's my script? Uh, in week five dot day dot dot pl. Okay, uh, that's all. That's all I have to put. That's a script to be run every two minutes. And then I escape them, save them, and then get out together. So all we're waiting for now is after two minutes later, the new uh, output will come out. So let me remove this, 2014. So we wait for another two minutes. At the time at the moment is 49, 51, about 51, the new file will come out and it will come out every two minutes. And for testing purpose only, Normally, we don't do every two minutes for the file unless there is some mail function or someone going to our system and generate them every two minutes, make them a large file. But we normally do the backup, the automation backup or any automation will be a certain time, like midnight or minimal processing in the server. Okay, let's wait for another two minutes, see how it come out. All right, hopefully the time is up now. Uh, should be, there we go. Okay. And if you wait for another two minutes, the new file will come out, okay? Another two minutes. All right, I think we have enough two minutes now. Check it out. 51, nearly there. All right, have a look at the time. 52.10, there we go. Just another file come out. All right, so best of luck, people. But before you do anything, if this system is running, Make sure, because it's a testing, but in the real life, don't do two minutes. Therefore, I have to close it, otherwise I'm going to get trouble later. Right, so I have to stop it for, for now, alright? Otherwise, it keeps running every two minutes. My hard drive will grow and grow forever. Alright, best of luck, people. Bye for now.